Hey, what's going on guys? John Fibonacci here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the video, how to take notes. So growing up, okay, school doesn't really teach you a lot, but <laughs> uh, taking notes was in the category of uh, what they didn't teach. So although it's not very complicated, um, I still feel that it's beneficial for students to understand, you know, how to take better notes. Um, and this is going to be my version of how to do that. So the very first thing is to not write down every word. And trust me, if you have a speaker that's speaking for 45 minutes to an hour, there's no way you're going to be able to write down every word anyway. But what should you write down if you're not going to write down every word is going to be the important information, right? Like the names, dates, references, books, and things like that. So you can write those down. You can highlight those as well. Again, important dates, certain names, uh, references, and especially books. I drop book recommendations all the time. Those are, are the books that you should write down. Or maybe if you have the time to put into your uh, cart, if you have one, like an Amazon cart or something, and you can purchase those when you're ready to do so, if you choose to do so. But you want to have those books on hand, ready to go. All right, and you want to use different colors to differentiate subjects and chapters. Also, you want to have different notebooks. So if you watch multiple channels, I would suggest having multiple notebooks and things of that nature. Maybe have one for personal development, another one for trading, or whatever the case. You don't want to mix all of your various notes into one notebook. And yeah, that's just very unorganized, and that's not what you want to do. All right, so we'll talk about our senses here for just a minute. So your eyes should be on the speaker or the presentation away from your phone. You should place your phone on airplane mode or turn it off altogether. If you're able to do so, I would highly suggest that. All right, so for your ears, you want to make sure that you listen to the speakers. Uh, this is one of the things I do when I read. If I'm in a public place as well, I use headphones. So if you're in a noisy environment, like an airport, a coffee shop, grocery store, really anywhere that's going to have some noise, you can utilize headphones. That way you can help pay attention and not be distracted by noises around you. All right. The nose, um, to be honest, I do prefer candles when I'm reading or relaxing, but as long as your environment doesn't smell really bad or is, uh, you know, distracting in any way, then you're good. But you know, candles like the um, like the uh, vanilla cupcake candles from Yankee Candles. Uh, I do enjoy those a lot. So, you know, it just creates that ambience, that ambiance, whatever. It just sets the uh, the tone, the mood of the room, and it's just beneficial. So that's what I do, and that's what I prefer. All right. So also for note taking, you want repetition. So you want to review your notes later on in the day or within the next few days. And you want to review them again within a week or a couple of weeks. So you can always go back to your notes. You don't just want to take it one time, never look at them again. Okay. That defeats the purpose of taking notes, but the notes that you have, you want to reference over and over and over again. Okay. Why do we do that? It's because we don't remember everything that we read or everything that we write, but reviewing your notes more often increases your capacity to remember. Repetition is key. That's how you help remember things. And this is another reason why highlighting important topics and using different colors becomes beneficial. All right. And the most important part of taking notes is the application of the notes. So you need to apply what you know, take action and use what you have learned. You can take a summary of what you have learned with you to reference out in the real world, like a simple quote or something on your phone to remind you of whatever it is that you're learning. And there you go. You can learn by reading, but you will learn and understand by doing. Okay. So there is no shortcut of experience. There is no transference of experience. You have to experience things. You have to do things in order to really learn and understand. So don't just take notes. Don't just read, apply what you take notes on, apply what you read.